Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial video, I'll be sharing how to play Wii U games on PC using the Samu emulator. So, for those of you who are curious and want to try playing Nintendo Wii U games without owning the console, you can follow the steps below. First step, you need to download the CMU emulator from its official website, cemu.info. Scroll down to check the system requirements and graphics card compatibility needed to run the emulator properly. After that, click the download button available at the bottom of the page. Next, we will be directed to a new web page. In the Assets section, select the CMU version for Windows. After the download is complete, right-click and extract the file. After the extraction is complete, open the extracted folder. Inside, you will find three main files. Before running the CMU emulator, we first need to create two additional folders. The first folder is named Portable. This folder will be used to store CMU emulator data. The second folder is named Game, which will be the place where we store the games we own. After creating both folders, we can now open the CMU emulator. In the Game Path section, click Browse. Then navigate to the location where we created the portable folder earlier. After that, select the folder and click the Select Folder button. After that, click this Download button, which functions as the downloader and manager for graphic packs. These are additional packages that can enhance the game's visual quality, add resolution options, improve FPS performance, and provide various gameplay modifications to make the gaming experience more optimal. Next, click Next. At this stage, we will configure the controller by clicking the Configure Input button. In the Emulated Controller section, select Wii U Pro Controller. Then, in the Controller section under API, choose Keyboard if you want to play using a keyboard, and choose SDL Controller if you want to play using an Xbox or PlayStation controller. After selecting, Click the Add button. For those of you using a keyboard, you will need to map the controller buttons manually. Once finished, create a new profile by entering a profile name as you like. Finally, click Save. Once finished, click the Close button. The CMU emulator will open, and here we need to do some additional settings by clicking the Options menu, then selecting General Settings. In the Game Path section, click the Add button, then navigate to the game folder we created earlier. Finally, select the folder and click the Select Folder button. Next, in the Graphics section, if your PC is above the system requirements, you can choose higher options to make the game graphics look more optimal and smoother. For example, enable V-Sync, double buffering, or triple buffering to prevent screen tearing. With this setting, the game will run more smoothly, the visuals will look clearer, and the gameplay experience will be more comfortable. However, if your PC does not meet the system requirements, you can set it to off. Next, in the Graphics API section, select Vulkan, and in the Upscale Filter section, choose Bellinaire. For the other settings, such as Audio, Overlay, 
account, and debug, just leave them at their default values. Next, make sure you already have the game file. The game format is usually WUD, WUX, or RPX. To load the game into the emulator, open CMU Emulator, then click the File Load menu and select the game you want to play. If you encounter this kind of problem, don't worry, I'll show you how to fix it. First, open Google and search for Wii U Key. Then, scroll down and click on the prodkeys.net website. On that page, scroll down again and click the download CMU key.txt button. Next, extract the file you just downloaded. Then copy its contents into the portable folder. After that, when you reopen Samu Emulator, the game will automatically appear in the emulator list. However, if it doesn't show up, you can click the File Greater Than Load menu, then select the game you want to play. The game will run automatically. Before starting the game, we need to set up the graphics first by right-clicking on the game, then selecting Edit Graphic Packs. For the settings in Mario Kart 8 on the SEMU emulator, enable Constrasty. After that, the Active Present option will appear. Select High Constrasty. Additionally, enable D-Banding to make the visuals sharper and smoother. Also, check 60 FPS Split Screen under the Mod section to make split screen gameplay smoother if your PC is strong enough. In the Workaround section, enable Graphics to prevent visual issues. Meanwhile, the cheat section can be checked according to your needs. For example, if you want all tracks, characters, and vehicles unlocked without having to unlock them one by one. Here is the difference in the visuals, where after adjusting the graphics settings, the display becomes more HD compared to before the graphics settings were applied.
That's the tutorial on how to play Wii U games on PC using the Semu emulator. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more exciting tutorials. See you in the next video.